we are seeing some really interesting things happening in Saudi Arabia. At the start of the year, the IMF has projected a very gloomy 2017 for the kingdom, 0.4% economic growth, uh, problems with its deficit, etc. But over the past uh, six months, we've seen the kingdom uh, really begin to uh, implement its reform program. We've seen uh, fiscal consolidation that has brought the deficit down by 25% in the past six months, and we're beginning to see an increase in revenues uh, year on year in Saudi Arabia. The most important bit is the way forward, and this past week we've seen some very important signs of what we're going to see more of in Saudi Arabia in the next uh, uh, 18 months, two years. Um, a survey by Mead, which is on Mead.com this week, shows that Saudi Arabia oil and gas activity is at a five-year high, according to data from Mead projects. Currently, there are about $21.4 billion worth of projects, oil projects, underway in Saudi Arabia. That's five times more than were underway at the same point last year. About 10.5 billion are either under study uh, or design, and a further 9 billion uh, at the construction phase. Um, it's, it's a very significant ramping up of oil and gas activity in the kingdom, and it is at odds with what is happening uh, globally, where there has been a 26% fall in oil and gas investment uh, over the past year, or since 2015. Um, the reasons for this, well, there's probably three reasons Saudi is increasing its oil and gas uh, investment. Firstly, uh, Vision 2030, the, 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 the economic reform program. Secondly, the IPO of Saudi Aramco next year. Uh, and thirdly, the fall in EPC prices makes it attractive to invest at this point. But probably more important than all of those things is Saudi Arabia positioning itself to maintain its existing output uh, for the anticipated recovery in oil prices. So that's a very significant uh, piece of research which you can see on mead.com. Uh, also this week in Saudi Arabia we have seen um, the kingdom accelerating its airport privatisation programme. Saudi Arabia wants to privatise all 27 airports that it has by 2020. This week Mead has reported that that is to be done this year. All 27 airports privatised in 2017. Uh, there will be three airport privatisation models. The first will be PPP to hand over ownership and operations to the private sector. Second will be the creation of new uh, airport operating companies and third will be uh, O&M uh, management contracts for airports. Uh, at the same time this week Mead has reported there are two new airports planned to be constructed. One on the Red Sea coast at Kunfuda and one at Jubail Industrial City. So two new greenfield airports. Uh, in the oil and gas side, we have seen major developments in Abu Dhabi, Kuwait and Oman this week. Uh, Abu Dhabi pushing ahead with the feed contract for the development of its Dalma offshore gas field. Uh, Kuwait oil company uh, set to tender uh, its $5 billion um, Jurassic gas field project in September. And in Oman, Dukum Refinery, the investment partners for that $5 billion refinery project have announced this week they're looking for a third partner, probably SK Energy from South Korea. Uh, and finally, before we round up for this week, uh, some significant developments in Egypt, particularly on the railway side this year. Uh, Cairo is to build a, a 66 kilometer railway from Cairo to the new capital city. It's going to cost $1.2 billion and it's being funded by the Chinese government uh, on a 20, uh, 20 year payback basis. Uh, that will reduce the level of uh, tariff, fuel tariff cost to Cairo and also congestion on the road. So a significant uh, railway investment there. And on the topic of railways, back to Saudi Arabia. Uh, Saudi uh, Arabia, the Ariad Development Agency, has selected uh, three companies to recommend for O&M operation and maintenance contracts on the $23 billion Riyadh Metro, which is due to open in 2019. So even though it's the summer, a lot is happening and you can read all about it on mead.com uh, and you can follow our weekly updates on this channel if you click on the Meet button below. Thank you.